Boxing Truth here. Andre Ward finally returned coming from a nine month nine month layoff. You know, it was his first appearance on HBO in over two years. Very long time since we got a Max Kellerman interview in featuring Andre Ward. As a fight for himself, Andre Ward did what I expected him to do. It was a good display of boxing ability, skill, setting distance, getting out of the range, getting out of punching range of Sullivan Barrera, show good defense, was very clever in the way he would step out step step out of range of, of the punches of Barrera. Uh, good counters, check hook counters, punches straight up the middle, good jabs to the body and head, effective uh, short straight up the middle punches that really bothered Barrera the whole fight. Barrera had a hard time catching Andre. I mean, he just either Andre was too was out of range or he was too close. He would be able to get away from his punches while he was inside as well. It Andre he it took a few rounds for him to get going. He he wasn't as sharp as I would have, as I've seen in the past, he he didn't have the best performance. It was solid overall. I mean, it was he showed you know good defensive skill and he didn't get hit too much in the fight. And uh, he there was he had some rounds where he was he was really on in it, but it took a few rounds. He, he scored a knockdown in the fight, you know, and um, but it took him a few rounds to get going. And in the rounds where he was, you know. There were some rounds where he really schooled Barrera. I mean, he was dying. He was dominant overall. It was really difficult to give Barrera any round. The only thing he didn't do was stop him. I predicted he would stop him late. He tried. He tried to put some mustard, more and more power behind the right hand. He landed a, a, the biggest right hand of the fight in the, in the last round, I believe. He really tried to put some extra power behind that right hand, score a KO. He tried to make a statement. He, it wasn't the most exciting performance. Uh, there was at, at times that the fight was wasn't as entertaining as it could be. It wasn't it was it wasn't a bad fight. It was okay, but but Ward was just too dominant. You know, there was no drama in the fight. I mean, Ward was was picking Barrera apart. It was very one sided. Barrera he tried he. He he had he showed effort. He drove he drove a lot of punches, but just wasn't accurate. He couldn't catch him. And couldn't get close enough at times, and or and Ward would just use you know clever defensive skills. You know stepping out of range just enough so Ward can't reach him. I mean Barrera can't reach him, and then Ward would counter. I mean it was pretty much what he did much of the night. He was slip shots. He showed very good defensive skills, Andre Ward. Solid performance. As for the future, he didn't really want to get into it. He, you know, he he likes to let his team handle the mat those matters, and he just likes to do the fighting. But Andre needs to take another fight. He he he's he's not fully there yet. He needs, as he said in the interview, post interview with, with Max Kellerman, the more you fight, the sharper you are, and it's it's, it's very true. I mean, when you're out of the ring for so long and only had what three fights in forty months can really have an effect on your skills? That your skills could get eroded over within over time of not fighting, not being in the ring, and Ward's getting there, but he's not fully there yet, a hundred percent. So he should take another fight in between before he fights Kovalev. According to the HBO telecast, they saying Kovalev would like to fight next if they if they could do it, but. If not, he'll he might fight in Russia in the summer and in Ward. You know, if the, if the cut's not too bad that he, he received in the fight, he could fight in maybe July. Get a fight in between, then you know, uh, it'd be it'd be good to see Ward more active. You know, just to see, because the sharper he gets, the more dangerous he'll be for Kovalev. If there's any fighter that can beat Kovalev, it's Andre Ward. I mean. During the telecast on HBO, they compared the fights. Which is the better fight, Kovalev Ward or GGG Canelo? And 
Max Kellerman said, it's Kovalev War. I agree in terms of the, the styles of the fight and how the competitiveness. And if Ward can get back to the level he was at in like 2011, because he's still not fully sharp yet. He's still um, taking the rust off. He's getting there, but he's not there yet. But it's not the richest fight. That's GGG Canelo if they fight. It's not as rich as GGG Canelo, but overall, you know, depending how Ward, if he takes another fight and he looks good, he beats a top 10 heavyweight. I mean, right now, anyways, a lot of people see that as a competitive fight. People will say it's 50-50. You know, a lot of people believe Ward can beat Kovalev and, and vice versa. A lot of people think Kovalev ices Ward. It's too powerful. It's, it's a terrific matchup, and it, sh it should happen, but at the right time. November is the perfect time. I would like Ward to get one more fight in because he's not fully 100% sharpness there yet. It'd be interesting to see who he fights. If he does take another fight in between, he should, to be as ready as he can be for Kovalev because he's going to need it. He did get hit with a few shots, a right hand uh, in the 11th round, a good right hand. Got hit with a hook, so if, if Kovalev touches him with those type of shots, you know, something could happen. But solid performance by Ward. Could have been a little more exciting, but uh, he tried to get the stoppage. He didn't get it, but dominant win, and we'll see what's up with, in the future for Andre Ward. I would like to see him fight a top 10 light heavyweight for his next fight. I think he's ready to, to you know, fight the more elite, the more the, the better light heavyweights out there. I'm trying to think of some names, but um, since, you know, he's with Rock Nation, his promoter don't do business with Heyman, uh, I really can't think of any names right now besides any Heyman clients, besides Kovalev. Maybe a, a Sean Monaghan, uh, but it's not something, someone better than that, though. I'm trying to think in the top 10, non Heyman. So, um, my, my shot right now, I can't think of any, but we'll see what's, what holds for Andre Ward and uh, looking forward to his next fight. Overall, solid performance. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.